Welcome home, sir. Eat through quite a bit of stim packs, though, didn't I? You'd best have cancer. No, I. Wow. What is my uh, stim pack level looking like? Yeah, let's get something on that. Done? Whatever. Oh yeah, Nikola Tesla and me. That's something I should probably read. Yeah, Walter, my boy, you actually come outside. Yeah. What is it? Uh, scrap. Just take all I have. Let's go now. Alright, okay. Where's this? Let's do it. Not a fan of the way these guys were, uh... What's this? Oh. Board of Education. Oh, is this a. Wow, value of 10. Was it a unique nail board? Hey, I'm going to have to pass on that. <laughs> Fucking nail board, unique. I didn't even know that existed. Get rid of that ten millimeter. That's cheesy even for me. I don't even know that I forget I mean I often forget that the nail board exists, to be honest. I, so to come across a random unique one. I assume it just does more damage or something stupid. Oh, these guys. Oh. 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 
you guys clearly aren't... Mm-hmm, okay. Good to see these guys were paying attention. Gotta remember how to get inside Oasis. Again, this is a quest I've only done once in my time being here, so... Outsider, you have arrived. Please, come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Just a minute, who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. The Tree Minders? Yes, we're the Tree Minders. We're his people. If you'll just follow me inside, to the pavilion, all will be explained. Okay, I'll lead on. Excellent. Please follow me. All will be explained soon. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you. We will speak once we've arrived in the pavilion. Not to worry, all will be explained. You are welcome amongst us, outsider. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you. Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. I've never seen a place like this. No, I suppose you haven't. In fact, few who live outside of Oasis have. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift 
a gift from him. The way you're saying him, I could swear you're referring to a god. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I may be willing to help, but I'd need a straight answer about who he is. I understand your hesitation, but I can assure you that no harm will befall you. Why do you call yourself the tree minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Shun technology? How do you defend yourselves? The wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Which brings us to why I'm here, I suppose. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. I would be honored to meet this person. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Just a minute, what does this ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. All right, let's begin the ceremony. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Up. We will now recite the blessings to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, to the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except when you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. Ovid, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his review. Amen. Soon. You will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Talking tree. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that 
stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. Ah, I must be dreaming. Uh, I wish I was too. Then me and Herbert could be the best of friends and live side by side. <laughs> He's the tree, you see. We're old pals, the best of buddies, and we know each other. Inside and out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, his name's really Bob. I think it's funny to call him Herbert, but I don't think he thinks it's that funny. <laughs> So you're trapped in there inside this Herbert, I mean, Bob thing? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me and then... Pretty much ended up inside. How did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was uh, a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah, yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was Something knocking my friend into the stuff. So the tree man has said you need my help? Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very... Simple favor. Would you please kill me? You want me to murder you? Oh, no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now. Rooted right here into the ground the only friends i've got are bob and those weirdos out there who think i'm a god if i killed you every tree man will come after me oh no no don't worry about them when you decide to go down there i'll have a little chat with birch and the rest of the gang they usually don't understand a word i say but i'll make them come around how would i be able to kill you your tree how to put this i've been feeling rather spread out lately I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but 
it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Why don't you just kill yourself? Now, how exactly am I supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. Thanks to Bob, I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. All right, point second. Cough up some cap. Yeah, like he has caps to fucking give. Okay, I'll do it. You will? Oh, oh you. You made us so happy. Oh, oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just. Just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Um, goodbye, tree. No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. So you're the outsider, huh? You seem nice to me. Any information you could give me on the case below, Oasis? My parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters in there. Tell me what you got. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, I go into the grove and talk to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his roots after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one. Tell me too, then I won't be scared. Aw, oh, I never knew an outsider could be scared of anything. Harold told me that he's scared of fire. If fire ever got on him, it would burn him and Bob until they were all gone. That's why we keep the fires far away from him. Can you tell me your... Okay, no, 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 no. How did you end up here? I was born here, silly. Uh, obviously. Uh, what do you do to become a... Do you, what do you have to do to become a tree minder? Just get born, I guess. <laughs> You're funny. I have to go. Farewell. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bloom Seer Poplar, soothsayer and healer of Oasis. It brings me great honor to welcome you. Any information on the caves below? Be wary of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. It's causing this place to grow. In what we call the harvest month, the Great One creates seeds among his branches within seed pods. At the end of this time, the pods open and the seeds are carried quite easily upon the wind. It's quite beautiful. Wherever the seeds take purchase, they grow into trees, plants, grass, or all manner of wonderful things. Uh-huh. 